autoimmune diseases are confusing or are they? March is National Awareness for Autoimmune Disease. It's Awareness Month for other diseases as well, but I figured this was a really good time to talk to you about what autoimmune disease is. More accurately, what are autoimmune diseases? Because autoimmune disease is an umbrella term that includes a lot of different diseases, a very lot of different diseases. And what it means is that the immune system our immune system, which is supposed to protect us and keep us healthy and fight off foreign invaders, turns on us and actually starts to attack our healthy cells. That's what autoimmune means. So it can be so many diseases. So what are some? The connective tissue diseases are the ones that we usually actually think of when we think of autoimmune disease or when I talk to most people, those are the ones that they mention. It's just a type of tissue throughout our body, but it's all throughout our body in different areas. You know, we've got four different types of tissue in our body. We've got muscle and we've got epithelial, which is mostly what our skin is made of, but also the lining of our organs. We've got nervous tissue and then we have connective tissue and that's that's everything else. It's what holds us together and it's it's our bones, it's our blood, it's our it our joints, it's our it's even our fat. I mean, it's everywhere. So when you have something, when you have your body attacking your connective tissue and it can be any of those things, that's why those diseases get so confusing. They're usually treated primarily by rheumatologists, but because so many body organ systems can be affected, and I'm talking about things like lupus here, where it can affect the kidneys and the brain and the skin, and that's why they end up seeing so many specialists because They've got so many systems that are really, really affected. So again, those are like lupus, and then you have RA where it, there's it's a connective tissue disease, but primarily the joints are being affected. Sjogren's syndrome, another connective tissue disease, but primarily are the hallmark thing for that one is destruction of the glands that secrete tears and the salivary glands that um, secrete saliva so they've got really bad dry mouth and dry eye complications. What are other autoimmune diseases though? We've got type 1 diabetes where your own body is attacking the insulin producing cells of the pancreas. You've got Crohn's disease where your own body or your own immune system is attacking the intestinal system. You've got MS, multiple sclerosis where someone's own body is attacking their nervous system. There's vasculitis, where the body is attacking its vessels. You have psoriasis, where the body is attacking its own skin. Thyroid disease, or Hashimoto's thyroid, where the body attacks its own thyroid. So those are all autoimmune diseases, and there are a lot more. I can't name them all, so maybe you know some that you could list in the comments below, and that would be helpful for everyone. But what is not an autoimmune disease? Some things that are thought to cause autoimmune disease are thought to be autoimmune disease. We don't know the cause of autoimmune disease, but there are theories like Epstein-Barr, but Epstein-Barr is not an autoimmune disease. It's a virus, Epstein-Barr virus. That's what it's caused by. And the same thing with HIV. It's a virus, but it's HIV is human immunodeficiency virus. And that middle word, it has the word immune in it. And I think people think autoimmune disease, but what's happening with the HIV virus is, it is, is that it is attacking the immune system. The virus is coming in and attacking your immune system. So that's not an autoimmune disease. And you know, back to what causes all this, we just don't know. We think there's a genetic link and an environmental trigger, and there are so many theories, you probably know this, so it's, we don't know. The genetic link is actually interesting. It's not necessarily that if your mom had RA, you're going to have RA. It's more like if your mom had RA, you might have lupus and your daughter might have Sjogren's syndrome and Raynaud's disease and you know vasculitis and you know maybe her sister ends up with Crohn's disease and you know grandma had something else but they're all autoimmune diseases that seems to be the genetic link that we see um, so far with research but 
Time will tell. We'll see autoimmune diseases. There are so many. It's obviously strongly impacting our country. I mean, I think RA is a leading cause of disability in the United States. It's it's very disabling. It's very, it touches almost everyone's life. In fact, I bet that there are people in your life, whether you know it or not, that have autoimmune disease. There are so many of them. So please share this with someone. Let's spread awareness about autoimmune disease and hopefully in the near future, we won't be just treating symptoms. Maybe we can find a cure.